Sonia Miller of Jug Monkey Paint Company and welcome back to my channel, my daily vlog where we get creative together. So this week on the vlog, I took you junkin' with me to a whole bunch of different places and one of the things, if you watched my junkin' haul video, was these coasters. I saw them and I knew they would be so easy to flip. Okay, so right now they have little wine corks on them, which is cute, but you know what? Totally not my shabby, whimsical style. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip these. These need some color, some fun, some pep in their step. If you're somebody out there that has coasters, then you're going to want to pay attention, or you can take this technique that I'm about to do and honestly do it on pretty much anything. I'm gonna use our chalky style paint for this, and we know that our chalky style paint sticks to pretty much anything under the sun. So that means we can also even give a makeover to this little metal piece as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and concentrate right here on the little ceramic coasters. I'm gonna go ahead and grab for my Chevy chip brush. You guys know that all the tools that I use here on my vlog, my paint supplies, you can find at my website at junkmonkeypaint.com. And yes, we do ship all over this country and into Canada. So the color I'm gonna use today is this really pretty green color. It's a vintage green color. It is called I Love You More. Olive spelled O-L-I-V-E. And go straight on and add in some color. When I do this project for coasters, I'm also reminded that you can also paint your backsplash and do the very same process. You're just gonna really wanna seal it well, of course. Okay, my one quick coat of paint on these is dry. Honestly, I just did a quick brush over and that way I got the uh, color around the edging and just flipped them to a different color. The reason being is I'm gonna go ahead and put on some tissue paper on the top of it to give them some design. And one thing I've learned with tissue paper is that whatever color is on the bottom, in some places it can show through your tissue paper when it sucks down on top of the surface. So I didn't want any of the pictures of those corks coming through. If anything, I'm going to be happy with just a beautiful vintage green coming through. So I had a chance to kind of look through my stash here and I'm honestly like I got just as the last little bit of this really pretty black tissue paper that one of you guys so awesomely sent into me and I'm, a, I'm in love with it. I love stripes, polka dots, shabby roses and so this is right up my alley. I also, as part of that, I said love polka dots. You guys sent me in some happy mail and I love to keep the, the tissue paper. I am just somebody that doesn't throw that stuff out. The tissue paper is very, very light and easy to work with. The surface that I'm putting on this paper you guys know right it's kind of like that stone feel and it's very uneven so I don't want to use a thick piece of paper and try to make it stick because I'm probably it's just gonna not really sit right I'm gonna go ahead and reach for my Mod Podge you guys know because I get this question a lot that um, I always reach for the matte M-A-T-T-E, yes I married a Matt, M-A-T-T, -T, but I always reach for the M-A-T-T-E because I love old time-worn furniture. Time-worn furniture is not shiny, right? It's worn, so I tend to uh, go to the matte side. All right, let's go ahead. Now you're gonna wanna put a nice bit on because that's how you get your paper to suck in. This is one way you can avoid a lot of bubbles. Next up, we go ahead and we grab our paper. We can cut or we can tear. I'm somebody who tends to tear paper because I like just that shabby look. Now we go ahead and lay this right here and we do a little stomp with our brush to make sure that it makes the connection. because there ain't no way I am throwing it out. You never know when you need a cute piece of paper. All right, I'm gonna step away and I'll be right back when this is dry. I'm checking back on these and I see um, they're probably like 90%, like this one's dry, nice and clear. Do you see the difference? You can actually see when your Mod Podge is completely dry and when it's not. Do you see a little bit of the white spots right there? But I'm gonna be putting a little bit of paint on the top, so I'm just gonna continue to move forward. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a sand block that I have, and now what I'm gonna do is, I never put any Mod Podge around the edges. Now we can go ahead and we can sand it off. 
Now, when I'm sanding around the edges, it's gonna just stress a little bit of that green paint that I love you more. It's gonna bring a little bit through of what the original color was of these ceramic blocks, and I love that tattered look right there. But we'll get a nice clean edge. So I'm absolutely in love, look at that. Look how beautiful that is, ah! And I love the texture that the paper gives me. So just a few little spots right there that are still setting up. But I'm gonna be adding a little bit of paint color on this as well. So honestly, I'm just gonna keep moving on because strategically I can cover those little few little white pieces of glue that are continuing to dry with a little bit of paint. Shabby chip brush, back into the paint we go. Hey guys, so I went ahead back into the I Love You More paint, and now I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit more edging with it. And edging, oh gosh, this just sets it off. It makes my edges just look a little bit more finished and brings that beautiful color. And again, it just makes it a really nice antiqued edge. I'm just gonna go ahead and shake a little bit of the green, specifically over those white spots, and that way we can just move on with life here. And now I'm gonna go back to my sand block and I'm gonna distress again. So if there was parts that I got a little bit too much paint on or anything like that, I'm now gonna soften the look. Okay, let's get all the sand dust off of them as we prepare to go ahead and seal these guys. Next up, we are going to seal and I am going to grab for our Everlove Banana Peel. Think like a banana has a carrying case. This is banana peel, a nice outer coating, a nice outer layer that sucks in, but also gives a nice turtle shell, if you wanna call it that, to your pieces. And so it makes them wipeable and really super protected. I love how these turned out, guys. Oh my goodness, look at them, they're done. They're just fully drying. I added two coats so far of our banana peel. And just know that our banana peel poly acrylic top coat dries to a flat mat that just helps keep with that vintage feel, shabby feel. Love it. So now they are almost ready to go back into our little holder. And yes, I could paint this little holder if I wanted to, but I think it's kind of cool. It just keeps with that time-worn look. Thank you guys for joining me here on my daily vlog for another project. Yes, I will be back again tomorrow. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, giving me a thumbs up, and leaving me a comment below. I'll join you in the comments shortly. See ya!